What's going on guys? Mark from Emblers for PC here. Before we get started on this video, uh, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. It really helps a lot around this channel. And subscribe for more Yuzu and emulation coverage. We're going to be testing two games on Yuzu Canary. Um, the version that I'm using is 2167. Um, we'll be testing Super Mario Party as you can see on screen. And the game that we're going to be testing next is 1-2-Switch. And that will be coming up around a minute or so. Um, sadly, uh, this game does not boot in-game. You can only, like, surface around the title screen. Like, the very, very start of the title screen. It will show you some Joy-Con controllers and everything like that. Which player you want to be selected. And I've been trying to get past the screen, and I can't. I did see people get past the screen online, but the thing is that when they do, it turns black and then just crashes. You cannot go in-game with Super Mario Party, which is a very big bummer. But that leads us to want to switch. How does that work? Well, I mean, it's what you very expected. It should work because there is not any visuals. I mean, there is visuals, but there's pictures and animations. There's not actually a game world to look at. And no, like, I don't know, just no trees, no environments, nothing. It's just pictures and text, and that's all there is. So, yes, I expect this game to run and work properly. Uh, but the thing is, though, there are some missing text, and there are some missing... Uh, assets in this game so I had to like keep clicking random buttons just to progress through the title screen and to get the game going and you'll see see that when I do here um, I will be trimming the loading times just to uh, save you guys some time and you know I know you guys have things to do so that's why I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible so now we're gonna be going to the title screen Oh, it's going to go really slow. It's going to be going around 5 to 6 FPS, which is kind of terrible because this is a title screen. It shouldn't be loading this slow, but it is an experimental emulator, so obviously we have to wait until these changes are made. Uh, so we're going to be trying to keep progressing the menus. Uh, you will see me trying to keep pressing any button just to get this thing working. And so I finally got it working when I trimmed the uh, video down. And we'll be finally trying to play some mini game in a quick second. Alright, so now it's going to be loading. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dancing mini game, I guess. I haven't played the game at all, so this is how it's going to look like. And there's two boys and girls sitting together. Just trying to dance off. Uh, nothing too interesting, as you can see, is just them standing, and that's pretty much the whole game and the whole emulator experience. So there is no point of playing this game because you do not have any switches and you don't have any Joy Cons to actually like play them, unless you can Bluetooth your Joy Cons and play the game that way. But it's not as fun as having an actual Nintendo Switch and playing this in a friend's house. So, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more emulation coverage. And see you guys in the next video.